show, another cosplayer. Uh, I said we'd have more, and I found a pretty cool one. We got, I think it's Wolverine. Is it not Wolverine, or is it Logan before he becomes the Wolverine? Logan be- before he becomes Wolverine. All right, why don't you tell us a little bit about your costume? Well, these claws right here are, are animatum, and I also got these these dog tags right here. That I got them off the, uh, offline. And, uh... Of course, I got I got the average white beater, I got the jeans, got the uh, boots, and that's that's how I came up with the costume. Yeah, you know, some people might think, well, you know, Logan is a pretty simple costume. You got the jeans, you got the white beater, but what they don't remember is you got to have the hair. You got to have the awesome, awesome sideburns, and uh, that takes a while. You know, there are some people that are not capable of growing that. How long did it take you to grow that? Well, I had these back when I was in high school, and that was back in like 2006. So I had these for several years. All right, and uh, how long did it take to grow them? Uh, I'd say like about like a, a year and a half, probably. And they are pretty thick and Logan-y, Wolverine-y. They make me think of Wolverine when I look at them. Now tell me about those claws. Where did you get them? How did you get them? And explain to the people why they're covered in the tape. I got them up at Amazon.com. They were uh, $25 each. And the explanation for the tape is that I had to tape them up because of the convention rules, so they don't, they don't allow, allow weapons. Uh, yeah, they're, they're peace bonded, basically. Yes. All right, and uh, what inspired you to dress up as Wolverine? Uh, I guess because I'm a fan of the X-Men cartoons back in the uh, late 90s, and I've been collecting comic books ever since, and since the, the movies came out, I was like inspired to, to dress like him because the, because uh, they had Hugh Jackman play as him and he he looks pretty awesome as Wolverine. Do you think that Hugh Jackman is just the quintessential Wolverine character? Oh yeah, I believe so. He he, he uh, portrays Wolverine pretty pretty well. I mean, to a T, right? Yes, exactly. All right, now uh, why don't you give us a uh, good Wolverine pose? Okay. Cool, we got Wolverine right here. Now tell us, is Wolverine your favorite X-Men? Yes, he is. Without a doubt? Without a doubt. Awesome, thank you. I'd shake your hand, but I'd lose a finger here, so we're going to toss the... Wow, I was talking about uh, cosplayers, but this here is not a cosplayer. I actually have Chewy. Chewy, why don't you tell us about yourself? Hello, I hail from the planet Kashyyyk. In the of the law, I like to travel to other galaxies and visit comic conventions such as this one and talk, discuss things of important matters with gentlemen such as you. I guess we must discuss things of important matters then. Now tell us about this costume. Is this homemade? Is this store bought? Uh, how did you go about procuring this? What costume do you speak of, sir? All right, come on. Let's get serious now. Sir, what costume? Oh, this costume. I believe this costume is of synthetic fiber. Yes. Yes, this is, this is a man suit. I, I am wearing a man suit. You're wearing a chewy suit. Why don't we talk about the chewy suit? Well, this is leather. That, that is leather. Oh, oh, okay, yes. His, his belt is made of leather here. Now, how about the rest of the costume? I hope he's not too far gone and he thinks he really is chewy. No, seriously. Let us, let us speak about... No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to tell you, but you're not. You're not. Uh, maybe I am. I don't know. You're dressed like Chewie. Why don't we? Why don't you tell us about the costume? No, I'm dressed like Chewie. Yes, you I are. Am? Yes. No one told me. No one told you. No. All right. Well. No, well. Okay. How about this? How about this? Assume you were dressed like Chewie. Now speak to us as if you were dressed like Chewie. So if you were wearing a Chewbacca costume, tell us about it. Well, this is from Paris. This is evening wear. Morning wear. Do you like it? Uh, yeah, it is very sensual. It's synthetic, All right, and uh, did you make it or did you purchase it? If you did. I modified it from what you purchased. All right, and tell us what went into the process of modifying. Lots of hair. Lots of hair. Uh, now tell us, hair how long did it take? I don't want to know where. Uh, how long did it take to make? Uh, about six months. Six months, and uh, about how many extra inches of lift you got on it? Excuse me? 
How many extra inches of lift have you got on that? Oh, good. Oh, okay. All right. I thought you were asking me something else. Okay, I have 15 inches. Wow, that is a lot. And I see no bookie wo or Wookie Bowcaster. Uh, why? It's a party. It's a party. You don't want to hurt people. You don't want to hurt people. Now, this is an amazing costume. I could ask questions for ages. But you know what? I don't want to make Wookie and Chew or, excuse me, Chewbacca believe that he's not Chewbacca. Because you are Chewbacca. You are. Those were, those were questions as if you weren't. So I'm going to shoot back to Shane here. And we're going to appreciate the real Chewbacca a little bit more. More cosplayers here. We got uh, Predator right here. We got Hell Girl, not Hell Boy, but Hell Girl right here taking photos with fans. And we're going to talk to them a little bit about their costumes. Predator, why don't you tell us about your costume? Is it homemade, store bought? How did that work out? Well, the costume is uh, recast from original molds, from original molds from Pete Mander. And um, I just recast it in and just enjoy the quality. <laughs> All right, and tell us about your weapon here. Did you make that yourself? Yes, I did. It's made out of two tripods merged together and a little bit of bondo. All right. And uh, are you a huge fan of Predator, or did you just feel like going, hell, I'm going to dress up like Predator? How did that work out? Well, I'm a huge fan of Predator because it's just like character so full of diverse, and it's just amazing to see him, you know, do what he does in his movies. All right. Now, uh, would you say that the first Predator is your favorite or the second? I have to say that the first. The I first. You got, you got the Schwarzenegger factor there. Yeah. All right, and what's your favorite scene from the movie? My favorite scene is when Arnold fights the Predator. Uh, there were several of those. Be a little more specific. Uh, <laughs> well, it was a scene where it, it was a scene where Arnold fights our Predator when he drops the log on top of him and he starts laughing when he decides to detonate his uh, gauntlet. Oh yeah, that was at the very end of the movie. That was good stuff. Um, now, are there any other characters that you've dressed up as? Pretty much, this, this is the only character I've been dressing up for like about five years now, so I'm pretty much working on others at the moment, waiting for next year. Okay, and uh, what do you think of Comic-Con so far? I think it's pretty good. I mean, sadly, there's not much cosplayers like New York Anime and Comic-Con this year, but uh, it's pretty it's pretty fair. So uh, what signature, uh, signatures from celebrities would you like to get while you're here? Um, wow. <laughs> it, it's so many, I, I, just, I just can't think of everybody's name. Are you not shocked at the sheer number of celebrities that are going to be here? Yes, I'm pretty shocked. Actually, it's one of the first Comic-Con, I mean, first Comic-Con I've been that has so many celebrities compared to most, which is very impressive. Uh, do you think you're going to scare some of the celebrities, or are you going to try? Just walk up and go, ah! Hopefully I'll try. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot for showing us your really cool costume. Now I'm going to talk to Hell Girl right here. Hell Girl, why'd you dress up like Hell Girl? Uh, pretty much I love the first movie, and... He actually uh, gave me the idea of it at first, and then I just finished up the costume about a week before with the convention. All right, and what do you think of uh, the second movie? You said you loved the first movie. What about the second one? The second movie was pretty good. Uh, I'm just still a fan of the first one. Well, you know, it, it's 50-50 it's there. Some people like the first one more. Some people like the second one more. It was a pretty much uh, because of the director of... Uh, Guillermo del Toro? Yeah. It was a pretty mystical part two, and... Part one was pretty much introducing Hellboy, and I really just enjoyed that one. All right, and why is Hellboy a character that you love so much? Pretty much because he was a demon, and he got adopted by this doctor, and he lives in a paranormal place where he lives with a fish man, and he fights... <laughs> Shut up, Predator. <laughs> You know, uh, we actually interviewed Abe Sapien uh, recently at a different event. Oh. Comic-Con Chicago, put on by the same company, Wizard World. We were at Comic-Con Chicago, and they had Abe Sapien, Doug Jones. Darn, I missed him. <laughs> oh, you know what? If he was here, we'd introduce you to I'm sure he'd love to see you. Uh, but not only was he Abe Sapien, he was also the Pan and Pan's Labyrinth, as well as the uh, the hand-eyed monster. <laughs> uh, now, uh, what was your favorite scene in Hellboy? Uh, it would have to be in part one, right in the beginning, where uh, the, his uh, new nanny got hit by the car, and he slammed his right hand of doom onto the car that was just about to hit him. And he goes, red means stop! Bam! Exactly. Red means stop. Now, do you have a tail? Yes, I do. Oh, my. I see a tail right there. Yep. Can't go anywhere without it. All right. Now, uh, what? tell me, you, I mean, clearly you've made this costume yourself, and it is a really cool costume, but what went into the process of making it? Pretty 
pretty much a lot of leather, a lot of cast, bondo, gel.